Hello, and welcome to this Foundry Data quick tutorial on configuring Foundry Data's clock settings. By configuring its rear panel dip switches, Foundry Data can be integrated with any audio interface using ADAT connectivity. Setting these dip switches correctly is crucial in order to achieve clean audio and glitch free clocking. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Foundry Data's clock settings dip switches and explain how to configure them for a number of setups. Dip switches 1 to 4 are used to set the sample rate of Foundry Data's internal converters and can be configured for the most common sample rates. These switches need to match the sample rate used on the connected DAW and audio interface. Dip switches 5 to 7 are used to synchronize Foundry Data's internal clock to a specific clock source. These switches will typically only need to be configured once to match the desired application and clocking method. A valid clock source and sample rate needs to be assigned using these dip switches before Foundry Data will begin to pass audio with your chosen audio interface. There are six sample rates that can be selected using the four sample rate dip switches. If you are using 44.1 or 48 kHz sample rates, you will only need to connect two optical cables between Foundry Data and your audio interface to achieve the full count of eight channels. Sample rates higher than 48 kHz use sample multiplexing or SMUX that accommodates the higher sample rates with a reduced number of channels. This means you will need to connect four optical cables between Foundry Data and your audio interface for the maximum of eight channels of recording at 88 to and 96 kHz and the maximum of four channels of recording at higher sample rates such as 176 and 192 kHz. If your audio interface only has one set of ADAP ports, it will still support higher sample rates but with reduced channel count. There are three clock source options that can be selected using the three clock source dip switches. Dip switch 5, labelled internal, configures Foundry Data to generate its own ultra low jitter clock without outside influence. This switch should be up and on when Foundry Data is the master clock of the system. To learn more about the benefits of making Foundry Data the clock master of your system, check out our other tutorial videos. Dip switch 6, labelled word clock, configures Foundry Data to synchronise with a device connected to its word clock input. This switch should be up and on when Foundry Data needs to slave off of your interface or clock generator via word clock. Using word clock to slave Foundry Data to your device is especially useful if you need to synchronise several devices in a studio. For example, when you have an external clock master and need several devices slaved from that one master. Dip switch 7, labelled ADAP, configures Foundry Data to synchronise with a device connected to its ADAT in one connector. This switch should be up and on when Foundry Data needs to slave off your audio interface via ADAT. Here are a few examples of how to set up Foundry Data's dip switches in various scenarios. In this example, we have the audio interface set as a clock master and the current door session set to 192 kHz. Foundry Data is connected to the audio interface via ADAT using four optical cables. In this scenario, we need to set Foundry Data's sample rate to 192 kHz by setting dip switch 4 to the up and on position and then setting Foundry Data's clock source to ADAT by raising dip switch 7 to the up and on position. In this next example, we have the audio interface set as the clock master and the current DAW session set to 48 kHz. Foundry Data is connected to the audio interface via ADAT as well as word clock via BNC. In this scenario, we need to set Foundry Data's sample rate to 48 kHz by setting dip switch 2 to the up and on position and then set Foundry ADAT's clock source to word clock by raising dip switch 6 to the up and on position. In this final example, we have Foundry ADAT set as the clock master and the current DAW session set to 96 kHz. Foundry ADAT is connected to the audio interface via ADAT. In this scenario, we need to set Foundry ADAT's sample rate to 96 kHz by setting dip switch 3 to the up and on position and then to ensure Foundry Data is set as the clock master of the system, we need to raise dip switch 5, labelled internal, to its up and on position. This allows Foundry Data to generate its own clock from its internal clock generator. Finally, we need to configure the audio interface as the clock slave by assigning its clock source to ADAT input 1. We could also use Word Clock to slave the audio interface to Foundry Data. Simply connect Foundry Data's Word Clock output to the audio interface's Word Clock input and assign the interface's clock source to word clock. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and check out the other videos in the series for more tutorials.